Welcome to the Florida Courts eFiling Portal, the Appellate Workbench page. To get to the Appellate Workbench, you may use your quick links in the upper right hand corner, or you may go to Filing Options under your menu bar and choose Appellate Workbench. The Appellate Workbench is, for all purposes, a draft folder. You may take a submission and stage it all the way to the end of the filing process and save it to the workbench if you wish, wish to complete the submission at a later date. The tribunal tells you the court that you were filing the document to. This is your case number if it's an existing case, your case style and detail, whether or not it was marked as an emergency filing, and the Resume Filing column gives you a link to go back into this submission and finish it and file it. If you wish to delete it, you may do so by clicking the red X, and the Date Last Updated column tells you the date and time you last touched this submission. So if I'm ready now to continue on and send this document in for filing, I would click on the Resume Filing link, which takes me to the beginning of the filing process in the existing case. It takes me to my case information page. It gives me the year and the case number. All the information is completed since I had done this at an earlier date, but it allows me to make any changes that might be necessary. I can still go and save this to the workbench if I get interrupted or if I'm not ready to file this submission. To move on to the next page, I can go to the Documents tab and click on Documents, or I can go through the Next tab to get to the next page, which is your Documents page. On the Documents page, you will need to add the documents that you wish to submit in this filing. You would choose the variety, the category based on the document that you're filing, and the document type. Then you would browse out onto your computer where you have saved your documents and select the document that you wish to file. Take your one last look at the document to make sure it is the document you wish to file. Attach it to this submission and if you have more than one document to file, you would click on the Add Additional Documents link. Again, you can save this to the workbench and finish it at a later time. Or if you're ready to file your document, you can either go to the Service List tab on the menu bar, or you may click Next. The Service List tab takes you to your eService page, it will show you everyone in your case that has filed documents electronically to this case. The icon to the left indicates that the filer has filed electronically to this case. The icon to the right indicates that these parties have been added using the Other Attorney Interested Parties tab. Removal requested shows that this party was added to the service list but does not wish to receive the email notification of documents filed. It would then be up to the person that added him to the e-service list to remove him. The yield icon indicates a bounce back or a bad email address, so it is deselected from service. Next, you can go to your Review and Submit page by using the Tab or the Next button at the bottom. This is a review of the documents that you have submitted and all of your case information. And again, you may confirm and submit all now or you may save it back to your workbench and do so at a later date. We'll confirm and submit all now which takes us back 
to our Filing Received Confirmation page. We've already received our email notification in our email provider. We'll do a refresh. You'll see that it is in the validating filing status. Our submission date and time is our official file stamp date and time. And if we go to our My Filings page, this will be listed on our My Filings page. But if we go back to the appellate workbench, our submission is no longer found on the appellate workbench. We have one more submission to take care of. So that's a look at your appellate workbench page in the Florida Courts e-Filing Portal.